This video will cover the replacement of a timing belt on a 1990 and 1993 Volvo 240B230F. This can be completed in an afternoon. Open your hood and disconnect the battery. Remove the fan by unscrewing the four nuts securing the clutch to the pump. Undo the two screws securing the radiator fan shroud, then remove the shroud and the fan. Loosen the AC condenser and power steering pumps via the tension brackets. To do this, loosen the nut on the side of the bracket and then loosen the tension screw. The AC condenser may have two of these brackets and you may have to remove the MAF for easier access. Once loosened, remove the belts connecting to the crankshaft pulley. Loosen the alternator via the adjustment screw and bracket and disconnect the alternator belts and remove the water pump pulley. On the timing belt cover, remove the three screws on the front and the one screw on the back, then remove the cover itself. Use the crankshaft holding tool or a socket and ratchet to turn the engine to top dead center TDC, by lining up the marks on the harmonic balancer with the zero mark on the lower timing belt cover. Remove the nut from the belt tensioner. Set the crankshaft holding tool into the harmonic balancer and the tensioner and reset the tensioner nut hand tight. Use a socket to loosen the screw on the balancer, then remove the screw and washer. Undo the tensioner nut again, remove the counter hold, and replace the washer and nut hand tight. Remove the crankshaft pulley. Undo the two screws securing the lower timing belt cover and remove. Remove the crankshaft washer. Pay attention to its orientation. The curved side should be facing away from the gear. Visually check the camshaft gear to make sure the mark on the face of the gear aligns with the mark at the top of the timing belt cover. If it is slightly off, use a wrench or similar to finally adjust the gear until it's aligned. Loosen the nut on the tensioner. Place a pry bar or similar on top of the intermediate shaft gear and against the belt tensioner, and apply gentle pressure to the tensioner so that it compresses. Then retighten the nut. Remove the old timing belt from the gears. Place a counter hold in the camshaft pulley, then loosen and remove the screw and washer. Then remove the gear. Place a pin, nail, or similar into the hole of the tensioner and remove the nut, washer, and finally, the tensioner itself. Place your tensioner in a vise and compress slightly so that you can remove the pin. Then slowly open the vise until all tension is released and the tensioner can be disassembled safely. Slide your spring over your guide rod and insert it into your new tensioner. Compress the tensioner in the vise so that you can reinsert the pin. Check that the mark on the intermediate gear is at the corresponding notch in the lower back end cover at the 3 o'clock position, then remove. Since my gears were different styles, thus making the counter hold unusable on the intermediate, I used an air tool to loosen the screw. Gently wiggle back the timing belt cover until it comes loose and remove. Double check that the slot in the crank gear is facing upwards towards a ridge on the face. Then remove the crank gear and backing washer. The crank gear is a soft metal so be careful not to damage it during removal. Again, note the orientation of the washer. The curved side should be facing away from the gear. Remove all three seals by using a small standard screwdriver gently prying on the inside edge of the seal. Take the two smaller, new, identical seals that you have and lubricate the inside and outside edges and gently place them on the camshaft and intermediate shafts. Use the smaller of the two drift tools to install by placing the drift over the seal and threading the drift screw into the shaft finger tight. Continue to tighten the drift with a wrench until the seal is sitting just below the campered edge. Inspect the seal for a rolled edge such as this example, which will cause a leak. The seal should look even all around the shaft. Lubricate and install the crankshaft seal, which is the larger of the three seals. I didn't have the appropriate tool for the larger seal, so I used a hammer and a punch to evenly seat the seal. Replace the back timing belt cover. Replace the crank washer with the curve facing the engine, 
and then the crank gear, which is keyed for the shaft. Reseat the intermediate gear and tighten to 35 foot-pounds. Reseat the camshaft washer and gear, align with the timing mark, and tighten the 35 foot-pounds. Reinstall the timing belt tensioner. Open and inspect your new timing belt. Make note of the marks on the belt. The two singular marks coincide with the camshaft and the intermediate shaft, while the double marking corresponds with the crankshaft. If the marks do not initially align, flip the belt 180 degrees. Install the belt first with the camshaft gear, aligning the mark. Then to the intermediate shaft gear, aligning that mark. And finally, to the crankshaft gear. The double marking on the belt should coincide with the slot in the crankshaft. Loosen the nut and compress the tensioner. Then remove the pin, allowing the tensioner to apply tension to the belt. Then re-tighten the nut. Replace the outer crank gear washer and replace the lower timing belt cover. Install the crankshaft pulley so that it keys into the crankshaft and install the washer and screw hand tight. Remove the tensioner nut and washer and install your counterhold tool. Torque the crankshaft to 44 foot-pounds, then angle tighten an additional 60 degrees. Remove your counterhold and replace the tensioner washer and nut, tightening to 15 foot-pounds. Reinstall the upper timing belt cover. Reinstall your drive belts and pulleys. Replace your fan shroud. Replace your fan and clutch. Replace your MAF if you're removed. And take it for a drive. After a couple of hundred miles, remove the rubber grommet on the upper timing belt cover and loosen the nut on the tensioner and then retighten the nut to take up any slack in the belt that may have occurred in the initial setting. After that, you're all done. Enjoy your Volvo 240.